Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We are going to do a daily today. I am not sure why I am talking in this ridiculous cadence. This one goes to Shoal. Oh, it's hard mode too. I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of challenge. We did really well in yesterday's daily. So did everybody. But you know, I guess there's two kinds of people. There's people, they, you know, they get a grade in a class. And they go, oh man, I got a 96, that's awesome. And then there's uh, another kind of person who goes, hey, I got a 96, what'd you get? 97, I'm a failure. Justice. The kind of person you are will inform how you feel about yesterday's daily. We, we played really well. We met a certain standard of performance. Oh, no. And, uh... Right, Kane has an eye patch. Good. Why would you ever choose to stand in that location? Um... Dude, are you a wizard is like the worst possible pill to get as Kane. My god, that was scary, but that's a great trinket though. I think you, you know, don't don't take this too seriously. I think some people will die on that room. If you take the are you a wizard pill and maybe you took one hit on the room just before it, I think you could die on that room. But it would have been a pleasure to have served regardless. Early Tinted Rock basically guarantees us a strong word, but gives us a nice chance of getting a deal with the devil. We probably want to go to this shop, uh, largely because of the fact that it seems like we'll be able to... Uh, we're not going to have a key shortage, so as a result we might as well go to the shop and get the... Uh, get the exploration. So if you guys don't mind, if you could just walk yourselves into the fires of Lake Minnetonka. Thank you so much. So far, so good. It was a little dicey to start with, and uh, I'm sure n not everybody, probably the majority. Analog stick is at least a tier rate upgrade, which is nice, but uh, not everybody's gonna be like on the board for taking the wooden cross, I think. You know, some people are big fans of, I think at least some people are big fans of being able to uh, open golden chests without actually spending a key, oh, without actually spending a key. But I ain't never met him. Let's open this real quick. Can't get anything there. I think most people, though, are probably going to agree that this is the right choice. What we should do, we're, we're a little bit ahead of schedule, and, you know, we have had a kind of a roundabout DPS upgrade on the first floor in the form of that Rate of Fire upgrade. So we're going to try to get to five cents. Or we're going to find it very easy to do so, thankfully. We're going to go back, and we're going to take this. We're going to spend a lot of time... Uh, Kind of doing uh, miscellaneous stuff on this floor. Because if we can get a blood bag, it's so good. If we can get a an IV bag, it's so something. Oh, good is not necessarily the word I would use, but it's, it's not bad. Do we have a red heart? We have a three cent red heart, which is uh, most of the time will be worth buying, probably. Because we're going to get... It basically is one cent cost to us to get two plays of the blood bank which could give us a blood bag could give us an IV bag could give us you know one or two luck upgrades could give us more than three cents and thus completely invalidate what I was saying earlier about it costing us you know three cents to play the blood bank twice but you get the idea I kind of want to play the judgment but I also really want to preserve the opportunity for there to be an arcade on the next floor Jesus juice is lovely, but uh, let's go buy this real quick. I think we'll play it twice. If you don't pay out, I'm going down to the next floor. I'm going to play you twice. Fair enough. We, we generally like stuck to our principles there. We're a little bit behind schedule, but the first floors are definitely the easiest floors to make up a deficit uh, for. So I'm not too worried about that. Feeling good, actually, like, feeling very good, actually, about the, the scope of this run right now. This is a run, you know, whenever you're going to Shoal, or the Cathedral, you should. You should instead do Delirium. So we want to get as strong as possible. Deals with the Devil are going to be an essential enabler there. I really should have checked Greedbutt to see if I've finally ascended. <laughs> Am I finally on the all-time leaderboards? It's just embarrassing, you know, for a man of my stature within the Isaac community. Hey, don't you know who I am? 
I'm one of the most ridiculed members of the Isaac community. And yet you don't have me on the leaderboards. The only thing stopping me from qualifying right now is not the fact that I'm bad, believe it or not. It's the fact that, uh... We're just gonna fight the boss first. It's uh, the fact that I haven't played 31 dailies yet, I think. It seems like we played uh, 301 dailies, but... You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't know. I haven't listened to the Punic Nightmares Hardcore History episodes in a while, but I'm pretty sure... That was bad. I'm pretty sure that Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm actually really disappointed we got hit here. Because I was uh, gonna use... Our wooden cross to pick up a little haunt. I guess now I'm glad I didn't. And we did get a bomb, so we're kind of like spared from not being able to get it, which is nice, but. Just want you to be dead, please. And then we get mm, a speed upgrade, followed by a deal with the devil that is actually, I'll just say it, good enough. Surely, a long way to go. Before we start thinking that we're in like, you know, 10 out of 10 easy win territory, but Little Brim is good enough. I, I'll, I'll pay for that in a heartbeat. No we'll place a bomb. We got 3 HP, thankfully. Enough to do some work with. Of course, there's immediately a blood bank. Not that we ever got uh, Red Hearts to really use with it. With two keys, we want to go to our shop. We got, I mean, we want to go to our secret room as well, but the, the secret room will cost us a bomb instead, and I don't know why I had a brain fart there. Pair throw on a shop, maybe, uh, is okay. We're gonna have pace. This is our secret room, almost certainly. Sometimes it's best to just, I think you don't even look for a secret room until you're almost done the floor, and then sometimes the room just reveals itself to you. Inside of our shop. I think you can justify compost. Even though there's a reroll machine, I think you can justify compost. I think you can justify compost. Uh, sure. You know what? Who dares wins? I'm gonna try it. I don't, and th this is where things are gonna get interesting. I don't really understand compost. At all. Um, don't, don't shoot these, just get going. I don't really understand compost. Um, I think it's, I, I just don't know what the right use case for it is. Like, that's probably our secret room. Um, is the right use case for compost to pop it when we have no flies? Pop it when we have a bunch of flies? Pop it when we have consumables we don't want? I'll tell you one thing. The right use case is probably just to use it as often as possible. Love you too. Does it double or triple? I don't know. It, one of these days we should look it up. But it, it feels like cheating to use research on a daily. I mean, we, we, this ain't, I was told this was video games, not school. It's always like, there's a couple of video game things that, uh, or it's not just quote unquote gamer things, but a couple of retorts I love in online gaming. One of them, could have beat you if I tried, but I wasn't trying. That's a great one. All time classic. Um, whatever, pay to win. Well, why are you playing then if you, if you don't respect yourself enough to, you know, play a game that where skill's more important? And I mean, like, you got beat, just accept it. Secondly, that's me. I'm always the one crying pay to win. But then, it's uh, whenever you try to, like, apply logic or reason to something. Oh, I didn't realize we're in school! <laughs> or when you someone that makes a grammatical error so egregious you can't understand what they're saying. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were in school, nerd. Well, I mean, it's not like... We're not in school, clearly. <laughs> or you would... Get an F right now instead of taking an L. See? I'm hip with the... With the vernacular of the nation's youths. Hey. Hey. Hey! Thank you. Enough money to maybe get an arcade on the next floor. I know we perthrowed a luck slash range upgrade, by the way, and that's not really, like, anybody's... To get a speed upgrade out of that is not gonna change the world for many people. Dude, though, this is awesome. I think it was still, uh... I'm, I'm happy with the way it worked, I guess. And we'll, I think we'll quickly check our arcade, which has a D20 in it. Hmm! Now, the D20, uh, this is how you get set up for, like, a daily that could be 20 years long. 
the D20 allows you to break the game. Do I know how to do it? No. But I think uh, it's better than compost in the sense that I, I sort of understand how to use it more. You know what I mean? If we see consumables we don't like or need, we play the D20. Like these ones, we like them all. <laughs> so that, my, I had a big plan when I came into that room, and it turns out uh, my big plan was completely like destroyed by the fact that the room was actually extremely nice. So thank you for that. And our damage is just getting absurd. We can't reroll uh, bombs that are live. Otherwise, I mean, that's a very fitting timing for that. I think we'll reroll the pills, see what we get. We can reroll the chests as well. A strength upgrade. Useful if we get a uh, an arcade on our next floor. I will I'll acquiesce, dare I say, that right now it doesn't look like this is the right call, but just imagine some future situations like D20, Blood Bank. If we don't want the money, we just reroll it. You know, we start to see the potential value of this situation. I don't think I really need to uh, like defend myself here. I think most people are going to agree that D20 is probably a better choice for us. You think that's a secret room? It is a secret room. Well, still. We're 30 seconds behind schedule. Nothing to worry about, necessarily speaking, here as we head down to the next floor. Curse of the Lost, Strength card, and an Arcade. Okay, so this is where, potentially, I mean, it would be nice to have Nuns have it, but we got a ways to go before that matters. You! Every time, I swear to you. Whenever we're like, hey, uh, we've been working for this Blood Bank Synergy for 10 years. It's an Arcade, amazing. No Blood Bank Synergy. Like, why? Or no Blood Bank, I should say. Why do you choose to be the way that you are, game? Everybody loved the old arcades. Okay, so all that should get re-rolled. It might seem like that's, like, well, you might want the money to buy something, but, you know, it's like a Homer Simpson moment. You know, money could be exchanged for goods and services, but we're getting the worst possible roll for a re-roll is a penny. So we're turning, well, I mean, I guess it could be a live bomb or a bad pill, but we're turning bad things into things that are almost necessarily better. So that we do not want. But this is definitely like a better use. Red hearts are also worse, I suppose. But look at that, we got all of our money back, basically. We picked up an item to go along with it. I guess on the rest of this floor, we could take counterfeit penny. <laughs> now that I think about it, because we've already lost the uh, Wooden Cross Holy Mantle ability, but so be it. So yeah, what's what's the general loop for a run like this? Uh, if it goes to Shoal, hard mode or not hard mode, that was such awful damage. You want to... Uh, you want to make sure that you fight Hush, or at least have a good chance to get to the Hush fight. You also want to do boss rush in the process, so in a weird way, like a uh, a run that ends before the end, oftentimes ends up being longer than a run that goes all the way to the end because you've got one super nasty floor that comes after it. This will be a great deal with the devil opportunity. I'm going to pop the devil card. And you are destroyed. Don't take it yet. Not necessary. Oh, dude. In fact, so I mean, it's tough because like the halo is good, but wouldn't we rather just have the ability to fly? You, sometimes I, I have to face the fact that I'm not a clever man. <laughs> Can't find a clever man. You guys like Pearl Jam? Let's say that in like a weirder voice. You guys like Pearl Jam? I think I'm just out of this floor. See you later, shop. I don't care about you. If we get another deal with the devil real quick, it's better to take, uh... It's better to take the Halo, but I think I'd rather just stick with Empty Vessel right now. It's a debatable option, but uh, we'll see. One second, I gotta check. Uh, gotta check Twitter. We're doing some 
rapid fire docket organization with some new people so i'm trying to make sure you know between floors I'm checking twitter it, 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 a lot goes into docket preparation you might be surprised you know we always gotta try to um you know we gotta assuage everyone's interest people are like i, I want to play this today i definitely don't want to play this today that's something we gotta handle on a regular basis now that doesn't seem that bad, but then it's like, I own this game, I don't own this game, do I have any codes for this game, does the online multiplayer in this game work? I'm not complaining, by the way, I'm just saying it, it does take a little bit more organization than might originally meet the eye. Uh, and then it, you know, when you add a new player into the mix, whose name right might rhyme with uh, Snafu, you know, now you gotta be like, I, I don't even know what this person's into except being like one of the best players in the world at a... A highly competitive esports TCG, so I gotta, you know, run a little bit more due diligence and, uh, you know, ask some questions, fill out the personality questionnaire, and see what's uh, going on there. I haven't used the D20 at all here. Partly because I was focusing on having a bit, I was focusing on doing some commentary, but. We also didn't have that many consumables to work with. Ooh, I don't... Okay, uh, no. No. Um, I'll take the key. I think we reroll everything else here. Wow, that's just like a terrible turn of events. Maybe we'll have a charge later we'll be happy to use it with, but good lord. Um, we should explore. We should explore on this floor. We should explore on this floor some more, for sure. The run's great, though. You know, we got nine da- we got- let's put it this way. Twice our average, uh, damage, although, you know, later into the run. Uh, a rate of fire that's above average for certain. A speed stat that is, you know, to die for. A great trinket. A potentially transformative spacebar item that I don't fully understand. Lots of good stuff going on here. I mean, Monster Manual is just- just terrible. We gotta be a little concerned here, I think, uh, about our timing more than anything else. This, I, I would prefer to have invincibility on the next room, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. We're gonna check our curse room because we, we can slash have to. Got them both, which is super lucky. Um, I'm gonna, oh, we hadn't used Holy Mantle yet on this floor. That's incredible. I'm very proud of myself. Good pill? Uh, not a bad pill would be a more accurate description. Alright, if we want to make sure that we're making it to boss rush, I'm doing one more room here. I know there's a boss trap room, but I'm doing one more room here, and the reason I'm doing one more room here is to get a D20 charge. Our D20 charge didn't really turn out. Ah, or did it? Either way, we're moving on up here. We're gonna go, uh, to a second secret room right here. Uh, we're gonna go to a second secret room right here. We're gonna pick this up, and I guess we're not gonna go to a second secret room at all. As we move down to our next floor where we got deal with the devil potential as well. One second, I gotta talk to Nick here. Um, and... Alrighty, just, you know, docket constraint, it should happen in a different, see the thing, <laughs> I'm like, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Anyway, um, I gotta, I gotta give Nick the heads up, Nick's the, uh, he's the organizational mastermind of the NLSS. You ever hear the expression, this is why sometimes, like, um, I want to refute this, but I don't want it to be refuted in, like, a serious way, if that makes sense. Um, sometimes people are like, why aren't you planning the doc, why are you doing an Isaac episode and planning the docket simultaneously? You ever hear of, um, the principle that the time it takes to do a task will expand to the time allotted to do a task? The more time, in my opinion at least, the more time you give yourself to do something, on average, please just give me some keys, my dude, uh, the, the more time you're gonna take to do it. And that might seem obvious, and in some cases that's probably gonna lead to better results, admittedly. 
But uh, I do think that there's something to be said about just getting paralyzed for it. You know, when people are like, ah, I've got this thing that's really important to do, I guess I'll do it uh, in two weeks. When do they do it? Usually they don't do it two days after they say that and then enjoy 12 days of rest. They, um, of relative rest, let's say. Usually they do it the day before it's due no matter what. So in my opinion, and this is admittedly just using my own bias to strengthen uh, my nature of doing last minute dockets. But the show is good! It works. Anyway, um, we should pick that up in case it's a luck upgrade. But uh, what I'm getting at is like... Uh, I kind of like the the last minute nature of it because I think if you say, I mean Nick and I have done this before. We've been like we're gonna plan dockets a day in advance. We do it for a week, and usually what happens is that somebody floats an idea the night before, and we go, ah, let me think on that. I'll get back to you, and then it's like you know two thirty <laughs> the next day, and we're like, okay, plan on the docket again. You know, you stick with it for a while, and then you stop. Sometimes, hagalas. We want. Oh, I mean, we need to go up and said. Goat head. You know what? I'm gonna take Guppy's head over the D20. At least for now, I'm just finding myself in in kind of a position where things are looking a little tight, and I trust myself with Guppy's head more. And really, like the dailies are for the, it, it, it's a leaderboard, so I'm gonna use the items that I'm most comfortable with on a daily, and then we'll yeah we'll take it. We'll mess about on runs that are uh, that are not dailies. We're probably going to make boss rush here. We obviously we want to. But we're probably also going to like literally do it. Um take strength for now. It's just it, it's a valuable we can't fly anymore cuz empty vessel, that's right. Um it's a valuable card for us to have maybe on boss rush, but I don't know if necessarily that fits into all of my plans now that I recognize that indeed we do have empty vessel. Okay, I mean, it's all like it's working. We'll probably go back for that key, even though every second is ticking here and causing us with some potential problems. And, uh... Good, good, good. That's a really nice start for us. And again, D20's more fun, but we're, we're kind of... I'm living in a post-fun world here. Now it's all about results. I'm results-oriented. We're in our two-week sprint. No Krampus. That's all I ask. No Krampus. Is Krampus. Gonna need you to, to be killed? No. I mean, <laughs> I hate you. Okay, we're making it out. Taking the Polaroid. Let's see what we get. Blank card, Razor Blade, which is not. Oh, you gotta take Tech X. It's not even. There's no negotiation to be had. And because we already are not flying, let's pop Strength so we get a, a modest improvement. Now, admittedly, we're not really getting the same sort of value out of Little Brim that we did earlier. But now Little Brim doesn't have to shoulder the burden of dealing like 99% of our damage. Trying to spam shots is not as easy as you might think. That was just insanely lucky to get out of the way. So what are we looking for from this boss? Oh, that's just a wonderful question. I'm glad you asked it. Uh, what we're looking for from this boss rush is some modicum of DPS improvement. I'm going to give you some other things that would be weird. I don't think we can get it, but... Uh, dude, it would be like 12 out of 10 to get Guppy's head. Or Guppy's paw, I mean. Takes us closer to becoming Guppy and also gives us the added advantage... Of uh, getting empty vessel to work again. Anyway, I, I, you know, if we're gonna do boss rush, there's some t opportunity for Zane. I truly believe, that, like, I, I've talked about this before. You're gonna say, how do you reconcile the fact that you you you're so far you're against procrastinating, um, with with the idea that you know you should do everything last minute? I don't believe that you should do everything last minute. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying I think that the more time. Wait, when you give yourself a lot of time to do something, it's paralytic. Sometimes. And for some people. You know, if you say, oh, by this time, I want to accomplish this. You, you take away any real sense of urgency you have to get it done. 
That's why, like, if an assignment's due date is, is in a week, I try to do it right away. I almost give myself, like, a self-imposed deadline of three or four days just so that... Because otherwise, you know, you leave yourself open to a lot of problems. What if you try to do the assignment like I did last night and you go, uh, hey, excuse me, I've never used, uh, SQL before and, uh, it turns out I need to download Microsoft's, uh, SQL Server Management Studio and I've, I have no idea what a .mdf file is and what do you mean, what's an ADO.NET Entity Data Model? Like, I've never seen that before in my life. You know, it ended up getting done, but if you do that six hours before the assignments do, you might find yourself getting into trouble. Now, I'm not I'm not innocent of this in, uh, oh, that's really good. In my whole life, I'll admit, you know, there's things I procrastinate on, administrative stuff in particular, I'm, I'm really bad about, but for the most part, try to stay abreast of things that are important. That's why I think about the NLSS, you know, we could plan dockets a week in advance. I think it would take some of the character out of the show. The downside, well, it's not like, I think if we said we were going to plan dockets a week in advance, we just wouldn't do it. <laughs> we would do it for a while and we'd be like, ah, you know, moving on. Not that docket construction is like the biggest stressor in my life, but I'm just trying to give you a little peek behind the curtain, okay? I have a very simple template for constructing an NLSS docket. It goes like, you know, banter, question mark. Uh, Zane. That's pretty much what, what my ideal docket is. The question mark can be many things. It could be more banter. It could be more Zane. It could be something new that we've never played on the show before. Sometimes it's technical difficulties, unfortunately. I didn't take the wooden cross. Are you an idiot? We gotta check for guppy items, sadly, but... Wow. Do we know these? Bombs are key. Yes. Power pill. Thank you. Um... That's my ideal docket construction. I gotta fight for it sometimes. But that's, you know, I, I think we do a good job mostly of compromising, you know? Rob has a game from 2004 he wants to play. I say, you know, no, no. He's still saying it two weeks later. I say, you know what, Robert? Today's the day. I have to take it, weirdly enough. Um, we've waited for your moment, and, and now that moment has, has arisen. Nick says, hey, there's this new game on Steam. I go, does it have online multiplayer? He goes, I haven't checked. I go to the store page. It says local multiplayer only. He says, well, darn, that's a bummer. Nick goes, hey, there's this new game. It's got online multiplayer. I go, okay, let's check it out. We test the lobby system. It works. And then 50% of that time, that uh, ends up correlating with a, a working online environment that lasts for an hour. And we play something like that. And admit, admittedly, sometimes I... Uh, I'm probably given more than the benefit of the doubt by my colleagues. You know, I say, hey, what about a docket that's like Isaac GeoGuessr Jackbox? And they go, yeah, sure. Even though in their head, I think they're like, I don't know. But it's not the games that make the show most of the time. The games can break the show, but the names make the show. Except for Hold Fast. That's a game that makes the show. How's this run looking right now? Well, we know we got to fight Hush. So the answer is, you know, it's it's a long run. So I'm, I'm not really trying to rush through it because I still want to rank well on today's daily. Just in general, uh, and this might be tooting my own horn a little bit. But I think I should have used that in a second secret room. What did you get? What did you get? Onsus. I like it. Um, in general, I think... If you know what you're doing on a daily that goes to Shoulder the Cathedral, you have, like, the best chance of beating other people. Because a lot of people, you know, first off, you got to qualify for two different uh, time-gated challenges. you got to get to Boss Rush and Hush. B boss Rush and Hush. He's done it. Well, turns out hematomesis wouldn't have been worth that much. Um, and then beyond that, I think a lot of people just choose not to fight Delirium. And then some people just will not even know that fighting Delirium is, like, the, the way to get the highest number of points, at least theoretically. Oh, I mean, you, you have to. It is very nasty 
It, it gives us the fire rate upgrade, but it sucks that, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna be saddled in a situation where we can't really, uh, do anything about Empty Vessel right now. We have to. It turns out we probably should not have. Who would have thought? I'm gonna give up Guppy's head. The flies are really useful. But they're not that useful, like, right now. We might as well have, like, bought a spirit heart or something. For What's our other item? Party head? It's not very good. And what? Was there anything in here? Did I even look in here? What's going on? What did I take in there? Oh, it was Libra. Obviously, you idiot. Okay. Grab this. Sorry. See you later, Guppy's head. I don't think... Oh, we could use homing tears. We definitely want infestation too, so I'm feeling good about that. A good card for Hush? No. Maybe a prayer for Owen Meany. Um. Well, grab that. Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, the thing is, the, the shrink shot is not that good to begin with. I'm gonna try something here. We're gonna look for what we hope is a black market. What's the methodology behind it? We really would like to lose our HP. Lose a rate of fire in the process, but gain empty vessel. Wow, okay. Well, it was admittedly kind of a long shot. So the idea is, oh man, we can spam shots pretty quick. Like, is this the one time in Earth's history that Dark Prince's crown has actually made like a meaningful difference? Uh, we've gone through so many space bar items on this run. To end up with telepathy for dummies is just kind of hilarious. We're melting him pretty well. Mm, actually, Superman melts well. You melt good. So in contrast to what you might think, uh, I think the best way, if your run is already good enough to beat Delirium, I guess you do want to get the exploration points. I don't know, I'm kind of like... I got senioritis here. I'm like, maybe we should just phone in the daily. We know we're going to rank well anyway. We've already been accepted to a state college. I mean, it's not Princeton, but, you know, it gives us a foundation that we can be proud of. That's not snobby. I went to school in Canada. Our schools are good, but we, you know, none of them are part of the Ivy League. I mean, U of T, UBC, McGill, they're all ranked well. No question. I mean, that's nothing against... Uh, Waterloo, obviously. Haven't even included my own alma mater there because McLean's Magazine keeps deranking us thanks to uh, some of my fellow classmates flipping a car over on Aberdeen Street. Thanks a lot. Now. Okay, that's about the speed we should be spamming these shots out. It's actually a pretty good hush fight here. Until we get hit, I'm not gonna sweat, uh, moving. 60% of the way through the hush fight. Oh, thank you for your spider action. Thank you for your fly action, even though the flies are always so hard to kill. How cool would it be if instead of the spiders dealing double your damage, or 2.5 times your damage, whatever it is, they instead dealt uh, two times the damage that's equivalent to the HP of the enemy that spawned them. So if you killed, like, the Hush, you would get a spider that, you know, did 15,000 damage. But it's also, it, it could just walk into a, a fire and die instantly. How cool would that be? So I went to your room and read your diary Watching grunge leg drop new jet through a press table And then my fart stopped listening to Trump Okay Please don't disappear See, but you're not really like being fair to me You're just costing me time Uh, Pels, are you getting this RNG? Are you having Hush disappear on you? Costing you points? Hush Infuriates me Costing me points Costing me ranking, I cannot live! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let me do uh, a little 
dock and maintenance is a head down here. Hold up, what does this say? Can you start combo with Josh and send me a disky link so I can add Taffer to the server and ask her some questions? Okay. I don't know, it <laughs> sounds so menacing. Ask her some questions. The people have got a lot of questions for Hafu. Like if you had to lay in a pit of scorpions on Fear Factor, or drink a gallon of horse excrement of some lewd variety, which would you choose? It's my brand. Whatever I want to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice here, okay? I got a lot of spiders. I'm not even messing with you. I think we're capable, more than capable, of beating Delirium on this loadout. And there he is. It, I, I, I hate to do this, because I'm opening myself up to some uh, some vitriol here. I'm kind of rushing this one. I'm a little tight for time, for one. But then beyond that, I do think that it's best to finish the Delirium floor. If, if you don't have confidence that you're not going to take zero damage, you might as well do the Delirium floor as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you know, the more damage you take, the more it becomes a bad idea from a numeric standpoint to have come here in the first place. So, I do stand by this, believe it or not. I stand by this as being the right decision. Now that I've said I'm not rushing, or I am rushing, I want you to think back to all the times. The 98% of times I've ever said the word rushing, I go, I'm not really rushing. And now you, I hope you'll believe me with a little, you know, greater confidence, because... And I'm Russian, I'll tell you. Oh my lord. Walking into a lot of shots that uh, I'm not proud to admit here. Can we please get Delirium Glitch? That allows us to do like 99% of his HP in a second for some reason when we catch him in between transformations. That was a bad bomb. I'm trying to blow up the skulls uh, just to see if we can get a demon heart or, you know, a devil card or something. Help. <laughs> no! Okay, I mean, I, I made it for a minute there. Dude, losing out. Oh, good. Temperance. Just throw that down. Maybe we can blow it up with Bob's brain. Losing out on an empty vessel? Extremely bad. I'm In a way, I'm glad... Oh, no. Achoo! In a way, I'm glad we got a, um... A tears upgrade out of it, at least. Although, I'm, I'm woe to, you know, ever compliment Dark Prince's Crown, which is one of the worst valued items in the game, without any question whatsoever. Um, it is technically, like, it's helping us. It also helped us enable Empty Vessel at one point, which is a strange situation to be in, but... Okay, just don't get hit. I, I think we could be closer to death than I'd like to admit. No! Waiting for the telefrag. What are you? <laughs> this is like a... It's a jacked up famine or something. Get out of here, I don't like you. I lost 1600 points on this fight since the last time I looked at my score, which was about a millisecond ago. Get me out of this run! I'm ready, okay? I'm this is a respectable daily, Mom. How'd we do? 281. Well, you reap what you sow. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'll set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.